Swarovski Optic currently has three digiscoping adapters to attach a DSLR onto a telescope. The DCA uses the camera's filter thread and a double ring system to mount the camera onto the telescope's eyepiece. The UCA has a platform on which to mount and hold the DSLR camera. And the TLS 800 uses a conical section to attach the camera directly onto your scope. This video will show you how to set up and use the UCA in the field. Because I have a DSLR, I want to create a little bit more space here on the platform. So what I'm going to do is slide the green bar off, loosen the screw on the right, slide the two sections apart, and rotate the front section. Slide it back on, tighten the screw, and I can replace the green bar on the side of the silver ball. Now I have the tubular section away and a lot more space in the platform. So to mount the UCA on the telescope, we first want to slide the eye cup in, zoom it all the way out to 20 or 25 times magnification depending on your zoom, and then loosen the screw on the right here, slide the adapter on, and then you can tighten it in place on the right. Now, to mount the camera on the UCA, what you first need to do is get this little base plate off. So, press the little black button, open the locking lever, and then you can slide the base plate off and just screw the screw into the tripod thread. I'm going to use a coin just to tighten it. There we go. Now you can slide the camera back onto the plate. It's important to do this slowly because you don't want the, the lens of your camera to bash up against the, the eyepiece and you can lock it in place. So in order to set the camera up on the UCA, what I'm going to do is loosen the screw here by the locking lever. That'll let me move the camera forward and also from side to side horizontally. So I'm going to move it forward I can then also adjust the vertical alignment with the screw here on the right. So I'm going to do it just by sight first. And get it roughly set up. I can then look through the viewfinder just to check that I don't have any vignetting and to fine tune it. Once I've got it in place, I'm going to screw the locking lever just to tighten it in place. One final thing that I want to check is that my whole setup is balanced. So what I'm going to do is support it and release the tripod head. And you can see that the digiscoping setup is very back heavy because I've got this large camera on the back. So what I want to do is slide the camera forward and I'm going to do that until I find a nice balanced position. Once it's in place, I'm going to click click to lock the telescope rail. Now that's going to make it an incredible difference to your digiscoping. With a nice balanced setup, you've got much more stable images and you're more likely to get a crisp, sharp shot. When you're finished, remember to always just lock that tripod head just to make sure that you don't have any unexpected oopsies. Now if you see a landscape or something that you want to take a photo of, or maybe a macro photo, all you need to do is loosen the clamp and you can just slide the camera straight off. Take the photo. Slide it back on is nice and easy and clamp it in place. If you want to use your telescope for observation, all you need to do is loosen the bolt on the right. You can slide the whole setup off around the neck. I cup out. And you're back to observation. If you see something interesting that you really want to take a photo of, eye cup in, slide it back on nice and quickly, tighten it, zoom, focus, and take the photo.